So here's the thing. Oh, sorry. This is Heather from the Sew It Yourself shop. Sorry, Sew It Yourself. Um, anyway, <laughs> we bought a bunch of stuff at an auction, which uh, Curiosity Inc. had uh, for the uh, musician's house, uh, Madame Rack. And then there was an, another auction the next day. This is Edmonton Kastner Auctions. And um, the next day, uh, there was another auction which we participated in. So this is one of three boxes that... Um, from the second auction. Is it all from the second auction? I think so. Okay, so it's from the second auction. But um, still, should be fun because... Like that was two weeks ago, and we can't remember what we bought now. So, go ahead. Oh, sorry. This is Grant, by the way. He's my husband. And then on here, there is my daughter Melanie, and her fiance Adam. Adam. Oh. <laughs> Sean. Sean. <laughs> Make a bigger faux pas. I don't think Most so. Most embarrassing moment ever. <laughs> yeah, and then on a future video, somebody would say, Oh, what happened to Adam? <laughs> He's being replaced by Sean. <laughs> New fiance. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, and. Sean has a twin brother named Adam. Oh. Anyway, the other person is Danielle, my other daughter. So one, these are two of six. Only two daughters that matter. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So they are here to mock us about what we bought. So. Oh. I mean, we're not really to mock you. So. <laughs> or maybe they're calling dibs on it for future. I don't know. Yeah. So, so with any good auction, there's some really great deals. There's some good deals, and there's a few head shakers. So, we don't we don't know what you're gonna see today, but we'll open the box. So we have an upside down carton. A cola drink box. Wow, collectible. And we have stuff peeled and sealed. This is like a very heavy box, so it's the heavy stuff. Oh. This is. So if it was a really good deal, we'll tell you the price we paid for it. <laughs> and if it wasn't a good deal, we may not. Okay, so um, as my kids know, but these people don't, uh, Grant collects coins, coins and paper money. money, which everybody wants to collect coins, right? And money. But anyway, he does collector coins. And he also does stamps. So that would explain why we ended up with some very cool one cent Penny pennies collection with the Ooh. doesn't doesn't have it, all the years but it does start at it starts early doesn't it it is i'll let you read that okay uh 49 43 50 okay so it starts in the 40s it, it looks like oh no there's a 37 there's a 28. Okay. It's really mixed up. It's not all sorted accordingly. So, anyway, cool. I'll go with Are the other Canadian ones. Canadian pennies? Pardon me? Canadian pennies? Yes, Canadian yeah. pennies. So, here you've got some old $1 and $2 bills. Nice. Pick those up, Tad, to my collection. They're in nice collector case things. I like that. It is. Auntie Melanie, yeah. And there's some $2 1974. Hello. Hey, Remington. <laughs> Were we being too noisy? 
Oh. Well, too, uh, too noisy, eh? Too easy for him to wake up. So we have some 20, today, so. 25 cent bills. Mm, that's cool. 1923. I think there's one earlier than that. Night. Hello. Night, Remy. Did you hear him say goodnight? No. Listen to my ears. Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Good night. Good night, Remington. <laughs> Remington thought I didn't say good night to him. <laughs> so then we got some nineteen thirty seven dollar bills. Okay, so those are the. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully, still in the box somewhere. Cause they're not in here. <clears throat> so we, Mum bought some jewelry. And oh, this is the one. These are appraised. It's appraised. So these are jewelry. the appraisals. We haven't found the we haven't found the rings yet. I don't know where the rings are. Hopefully they're in the box. Hopefully they're in another bag. <laughs> but these are the uh, these are the appraisals here, and we got them for a third. Yeah. The price quarter the appraisal price. So is this one that I bought for you. Yeah. Well, that's a deal. Yeah. Or a steal. Yeah, yeah. So this this is a gold and ruby. Well, we can wait until we find the rings. Okay. It's got to be in the box, right? Okay. Well, and then we can tell them what the appraised value is. Okay, so there's a bag here with some coins, I think. In it. Yes. So this is the Millennium Keepsakes. So there's Ooh, that fell apart. There's four of these uh, coins here, 1966. Ooh. I don't know if they're actual coins, they're just I think they're just keepsakes. I think they're just keepsakes. Uh, this is a 1984 uh, coin uh, from the Papal Visit. Hopefully you can see that on line as well. And here's a stamp. Stamp and Se coin. Several stamps. It's a hologram stamp from 1999. 1999. So I think Mum bought that for me. Probably. Well, I wasn't. We, I wasn't there for the whole auction. I was just there for parts of it. He was putting up gyp rock during this auction. Your mom just told you I bought this cool thing, and then yeah. that's what it was. <laughs> he was there for parts of it. Well, I, f I found the uh, the ring that I wanted to get home, so I was kind of oh, waiting I think for that. These are the rings. Oh, oh that's there's the right one. Show it's a uh, what is it? Ten karat, fourteen karat. It is a fourteen karat gold ruby and diamond ring. Well, nice. Weighing in total 0.25 carats. Um, That's my Valentine's gift for her. Very nice, perfect rubies for Valentine's Day. Two point four grams. Anyway. The appraised value is twelve hundred dollars on that ring. Ooh. Does that sound legit? Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. We didn't pay that much. Good. Under four hundred, I can't remember. Three twenty five, three fifty. Really? Oh, that's very nice. I can look it up. Here's all the paperwork for I'm not sure, dear. No, I don't think this is this one. Oh, here. This is 
I'll show those guys there. Does that show up there, Grant? Oh, you have to go lower. Lower. Yep. Okay. Right there. Perfect. But not okay. close enough. Okay, well, that's the joy. So You're this is a uh, platinum fancy colored moissanite solitaire ring. Oh. Moissanite's cool. One point, what's, what what's the greatness of moissanite? Uh, so moissanite has a higher um, brilliance than diamonds, so it, it refracts light a lot more than diamonds do. Um, but it does kind of give off like a disco ball effect. Um, and it's so very it sparkly. I don't know if you can see yeah, that. Yeah, it's super sparkly. Mm -hmm. I would really like to own one one I'm day. Looking for the packing they're stuff. just like, they just um, so much. <laughs> they're on the table yeah. just right there. But yeah, like they do, I think they, they are man-made. Okay. Uh, but they are quite high up on the, the Mohs scale, so for their um, resistance to scratching. Oh, good. So it's 1.2 carats of moissanite. Oh, okay. And what was the appraised value? 2,000. Okay. So I just. Know, I've never dealt with moissanite before, but that, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So just so you know, Melanie is, she works in a jewelry store. So she has a handle on some of these prices. Which is why I wanted her on here anyway. <clears throat> okay. Or does that have to go out there? Sure. And this is... Oops. It just slipped over on me. Can you see that? Pendant. Yeah. So this is a 14 karat white gold. Um, total diamond weight 0. 0.51 carats. No biggie. Appraised value 1800. What are the other gemstones in there? I think they're black and white diamonds. I'll just put it here. 22 round brilliant cut laboratory color enhanced black colored diamonds. Cool. And then 69 round brilliant cut diamonds. Can you imagine having to count all those? Like those are like super tiny. Yeah. I can't imagine having to count them. They're just like they're like super, super tiny. Uh, that sounds like a great time. So, um, anyway, we paid 400 for that one. <clears throat> and that moist night ring was that 2000, you said? 2000, yeah. And paid 400 for that as well. Mom, mom didn't tell me she. Mom didn't tell me she bought those other rings before I bought the, the ring for her that okay. I was looking for. So this one is not appraised, but it is mammoth tusk and uh, I think maybe ruby or something on it, or garnet, probably garnet and silver. Yeah, sure now I'll show you that. I'm not crazy about what's on there, but I just thought it was so oh, cool that. It was Mammoth Tusk. Very cool, hey? <clears throat> so it is... Um, the Amalite, whoever does the Amalite, they did this one as well. I'm sorry, Ammonite, not Amalite. Ammonite. This one does not have an appraisal, I don't think. Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, oh, okay, sorry. I'll show you guys first. Hopefully that's in your vision. Let me just check and see. Oh, yeah, right in the center of the camera. Perfect. And there's that. It's a 10 karat gold 
yellow gold, um, fancy colored brown oval shaped rose cut diamond. Clarity I two to three. Carat weight point eight two. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so fourteen hundred was the appraisal on that one. It's got a couple little diamonds on the outside. And three fifty is what we paid for. Three fifty. There you go. If you wanted to start a store, a jewelry store, you could just go at the auctions and buy a bunch of stuff and then sell them. In fact, there, there were people that were doing that, so I'm not sure what that is yet. Um, is that all the appraised stuff? Yes, that's all the appraised stuff. So now we're on to 1974 Centennial Silver Dollar. I'll show you guys there. And then I'll show you guys there. Dad likes coins. What can I say? Well, Explains why this was. Oh, we don't know because we were in Prince Rupert, so we couldn't go to the safe and actually see whether we had them or not. It's 1974, so I don't think so. Not unless he has some of my dad's, because dad, my dad collected coins, and I ended up with them. So it was $25 for a silver dollar, which is cheaper than you buy in a coin store. So this is a 1979 silver dollar. Oh, that does not work. There we go. It's got a sailing ship on it. That's cool. I'm unwrapping something here. I have no idea what it is. This is a large penny from 1916. Sorry, right there, I think, is the sweet spot. Okay. Yes. I think I have a couple of large pennies from my dad as well. So. But here comes the mystery item here. Oh, yes. This is from Madame Rack's house. Oh, right. This is from Madame Rack's. So, this is Real Hawaiian Flowers and Leaves. Um, real Hawaiian, uh, petrified in gold. Can you see that? Well, that's cool. Yeah. Really cool. Uh, they've been picked by hand on the island of Maui and then by a special process made into objects of art. So, it's interesting because all you see is this picture and then it's, it says gold colored flowers. And because I've seen the gold co covered roses, I instantly figured these were Hawaiian flowers covered in gold. So... Anyway, cool. yeah, so that was a score because nobody else thought about that being a thing. So, so yeah, it's actually gold on there. Very excited about that. Uh, 1970 Manitoba silver dollar. It's got their uh, flower on it. <clears throat> I think it's some kind of lily. I can't remember what Manitoba's is. Uh, this was... Hmm. I can't remember if these were from Madame Rax or not now. <clears throat> no, these were from the second one. So there's just some buttons and a cameo pin and some cameo, um, what are those called? Twist type? What are those, Mel? The earrings that you twist? Oh, uh, oh, I don't know. They have a name. 
Oops. That's pretty. Yeah, so there's... Just add to your cameo collection. Yeah, I like cameos, so... Anyway, so there's earrings, and then there's... Oops. That is not great. And then some cool buttons to add to my button collection. Because I love buttons. Uh, the, the Manitoba flower is the prairie crocus. Okay, prairie crocus. Apparently those are coming out in Vancouver. Yes. Yes, we did see some crocuses yesterday when we went to Vancouver. Just a quick little day trip. Melanie is in Whistler. Is where she lives now. So these are quarters, a roll of quarters. I paid ten dollars for a roll of quarters. <clears throat> Guess what a roll of quarters cost? Ten dollars. I think they're nineteen seventy four, aren't they? I don't know. They're um they're covered bridge, so I'm not sure. All of the, both sides has the covered bridge on it, so from, uh, I think it's Nova Scotia, is it, that has the cover bridge? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I thought, if nothing else, you know, I'm paying... New for, Brunswick. New Brunswick, sorry. 1992. Okay, now this is really cool. You guys are going to go crazy for this. Dad picked this and wanted it. So, this is... They'll know before you do. I'm not even going to tell you. You're going to see it. And then you're going to go, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. It's a Mickey Mouse watch. For $20. <laughs> $20 is everything? Yeah. And it's got like a metal strap and everything. It's very cool. Stainless steel. Stainless steel. You pay more for a than you pay for a... Yeah, exactly. Probably not if you were in uh, the States, though, at Disney World. And there's some more cameos, a brooch, and other earrings. I'm going to take this out so that you can see it better. So, Oh, this is actually, this is actually a um, scarf clip. Scarf clip. And then some more earrings, cameo earrings. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> I like cameos. What can I say? <laughs> They're special. <coughs> this one right here. Oh, oh yeah. This one I paid a fair hunk of change for. It's got to come out of the bag. I think I paid $80 for it. So this is... Oh, what is it? Oh, maybe it will stay on the back. It's a genuine leather uh, Armani. Emporio Armani. Armani watch. Ladies, Armani <coughs> watch. Yeah, $80. You sell watches? You sell yes. what brand? Uh, right now we're doing, we do Boulevard, Citizen, and Caravel. And okay. then we also have the Corite watches with the Amalite in them. Ooh, oh, nice. nice. Yeah. All right. I also am somehow allowed to change watch batteries. Are you? To zero learning experience. I am so disappointed. <laughs> no, not, not about that. <clears throat> no. <laughs> So this is a coin. I thought this had the glass B on it, but it does not. I am so disappointed. But it is still a very cool coin. Oh, that's oh I see, yeah. I do like yeah. these collector coins, but there was a series that had um, that Murano thing. glass. Yeah, it was the same, only it had actually glass B on there. Oh, Chris is entering. Drama, maybe, eh? You never know. You never know. I did say admit. 
Oh my goodness. Could there be more coins? I just don't know. <clears throat> oh, okay. Two people entered the waiting room. You. Isn't it Trinity? Yeah, Chris, just, Chris and Trinity are joining. <coughs> Put it on gallery view. Well, unless they want to see these up close, maybe. Are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Trinity is my other daughter. Another daughter. She's not the one actually driving, I assume. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> no, John's driving me. Okay. Yeah. And then Chris was... So I need to, like, I need to be able to listen, so that's why it's so close to my face. Okay. Okay. Uh, and Chris is entering, too, which is my son. I don't know where he went, but anyway. Is he on the next page? Are you there, Chris? Oh, wow, you're so light now, Trinity. Oh, yeah, we're picking up fuel. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is a $5 Olympic Montreal 1976 coin. Oh, there's Chris, where are you? Oh, he, I, we just have a picture of him. He's connected. So Montreal 76 Olympics. This is, gee, I don't even know. <coughs> It's a Chinese silver dragon dollar replica. So it's not actually a silver dollar. It's not a coin, but it's silver. It's a replica. <clears throat> oh, hi, Jessica's there too. Hey. So just so you know, I'm, I'm taping this and I was going to put it on my Facebook page. Or not, sorry, YouTube page. So, welcome to YouTube. Ooh, I'm running out of time. Oh no. No, it said it's said it's been upgraded. Oh, did it? Okay. Uh, this is this is a 1852 Quebec unsolved half dollar, which I don't know anything about. But anyway, it was. 1856. I thought that was pretty cool. We don't have any coins that old. So that's a new one. So mom bought a bunch of these coins while I wasn't there with the intent of me loving coins. She bought some for me. So. 1971. Pardon me? So do you love them? I do. He does. I, I love Whoops. I did that again. Silver dollar. Oh, it. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. That's good. You're good at that. Maybe I'll do this other silver dollar. Oh, that's yeah. This, it's a square. Okay, that's this is another replica silver. Oh, there you see the dragons on that side. Hopefully you can see it. There's another one of those replica silver dollar dragons. So sorry, I missed the backstory. Where did you get this? <clears throat> is this from the Hoarder House? Some yeah. is from the Hoarder House, but some is um, not. Some, okay, there was is another. The house, the house with the woman with all the hats, right? Yes. Okay. Good. And all the clothes, and Madame yeah. Rack is what was her yeah. name. And okay. um, so her auction was on the Saturday, and then or that Curiosity Inc.'s auction was on the Saturday, and then the next day uh, was another auction, which we happened to catch, and I went, oh my goodness, there's some cool stuff there that we love, so. <clears throat> So this is not Madame Rapps. This is from the secondary auction. It's a pin. It was just a kind of a unique pin because it's got real fur on it. I don't know. Is that a poodle? It's a poodle. Yeah, that's the point where mom was like, I don't know. Yeah. It it was it it's got some sparkle <laughs> on it. I, it was cool. I just hadn't seen it. Okay, this is from Madame Rex. I'm, I'm showing them this one again. Can you make this like a regular current? What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you thought we were already hoarders. 
We're collectors. No, but like, just lean into it. Well, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, after watching the hoarder series, I'm going, oh, so this is how you hoard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this is dedicated to stuff. Yeah. So this is from Madame Rack's um house. house. And this is Hawaiian flowers that have dipped been in coated in gold. Like the gold oh. dipped roses, but these are other Hawaiian flowers. So anyway, that was kind of a cool one. I saw it and knew exactly what it was, so that's why I bought it and I got it fairly inexpensive. Oh, Really oh yes, and this is from Madame Rock as well. No, is it? I can't remember. No, yes it is. This one is from Madame Rock. Okay, so this is from Madame Rock's house as well. And this is a puzzle ring. I have been looking for years for these. And yes, look at this. It even comes apart. Can you see all that coming apart? Not that I want to do that right now, but it all comes apart. Four pieces. Four pieces. Neat puzzle ring. I had seen one years ago, and I've been looking, and I couldn't find them, and then there it was. It's just a necklace. Ah, you know, I think this was, was this from Madame Rex too? I think this was. Uh, so this is a silver chain, and then it's got a, I don't know what it is on there, a green stone. I think this was from Madame Rock. I'd have to go back. What's that? It's it's a chain, and then it's got little gold or green stone on it. It's um sterling silver. So question. Yes. So how much did you spend on all that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you need to ask, you can. Just yours. <laughs> You'll, you'll, you'll just have to keep track of what we said we paid for stuff and figure it out. <laughs> Another Canadian dollar. For me? Freebies. Uh, this is uh, blah, 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 what year? Sixty-eight. Were any of you born in sixty-eight? I would give this to you. Born in 68? She's asking you to. Oh. <laughs> I would have been four in 68. My, my brother was born in 68. Yes. Oh, that's right, Dale. And this is... This is a 1901 penny, which is also very cool. So, you know, I don't know. Jessica might not know that Dad, Grant, loves coins. Yeah. So... There was lots of coins, lots and lots of coins. That Heather bought for me. 1966 silver dollar. What? Oh, it's just, I have something I need to show Mel after. Oh, okay. <laughs> now that you're here. Yeah, sure. This is a 1940 silver dollar. That's very cool, hey? And it's got King George. Yeah. He did his job. Very well. This is This is a centennial nineteen fifty or eighteen fifty eight to nineteen fifty eight. I don't I don't know. It's a Canadian. What happened? It's. Do they even all feel like this is Christmas and it's just mom videotaping all of us? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She should do this all the time. But it's great because we don't have to find homes for anything. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh, what year is that? I don't have a clue. What's it? 1978. Commonwealth. Edmonton Commonwealth, whatever that means, I don't know. Were the Commonwealth Games in Edmonton? And... No, it's her 100 year. Oh, nice. Oh. Since they became a city or whatever. Okay. 
Why is that coming like this? Just games. Oh, this is nice. This is the RCMP 19, 1873 to 1973. Musical ride. Musical ride. In its issue case. <clears throat> wow. And we have a silver Christmas coin, 2009. This is a 1907, a large penny, Canadian. 1907. These are some, like, you just don't find these old coins anywhere, so. This is... Type of, silver type of it. Yeah, I don't know... I almost feel like this was an atom rack thing, so there's a tie clip as well. Very cool silver tie clip. It's got a little chain on it too, which is also cool. Okay, so just opened a new package. This is one box. Oh, several. Yeah, and you saw how big that box is. And, you know, this has barely scratched the surface so far. This so. is the most expensive box. <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh, this is a mess. Okay, so these, these are a stamp collection, which are a mess. They're just all randomly together. Oh, look at GMC. The a sheet of stamps. That's all folded up. This is not a stamp. That's a sticker. <laughs> There's, oh, what is this? Assorted stamps. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through all those tonight. Yeah. Ten pictorial postage books. They used to have these and then there'd be like stamps on each of these little pages and stuff. So. And there's a set of four corner block stamps. And then this is a book of stamps okay, we'll just get through this. that oh. has... Oh, you can let me finish this one first. Um, so the for the year, sometimes they would do books of stamps. For all the with stamps. With all the specialty stamps in them. All the stamps from that year. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Everything's falling, falling, falling. And a coin besides a Confederation coin. Okay. Oh, one cent stamps. Oh, that's cool. That's a bit of a mess. Oh, wow. So I bought the stamps. Mom bought most of the coins. This is... Was it a deal or a ripoff? Uh, hard to know. Well, we'll have to take a look and see once we... It, it was hard from the auction pictures to know what we were exactly getting, so yeah. consequently, I don't think we overpaid. But, uh, yeah, everybody saw the same thing we did, so. So, um, so there's just uh, a whole handful of uh, different stamps. And lots of these are not posted, so they're more valuable than the cancelled stamps. There are some cancelled stamps in here as well. It's just hard to... You know, like, like there's one that wasn't used. It's one of the art collections. So we'll sort through them later and see what we have. Yep. Okay, and this is... I don't even know where this came from because I don't remember purchasing it. It's just like pins and random stuff. Had a couple stamps in it, so maybe it's part of the stamp 
It could be. So, Canada so how, many, how many other people were bidding against you guys? Well, sometimes there was nobody. Sometimes there were lots of people. And there was a minimum bid, I assume, on something? No. Nope. No, they didn't have minimum oh. bids. So some things, like they would go down to $5 before anybody would start bidding. And then you bid up from there. Um, it's a little awkward because they have set places, like from five dollars to twenty it goes up in two fifty increments like two dollars and fifty cents and then after that it goes up by five dollars until i think seventy or something and then it goes up by ten dollars so so at some point you have to say do i really love this do i want to go up the extra twenty five dollars because i think after a hundred and fifty it's twenty five dollar increments so so here's here's an envelope. I'll just pull out a few. Oh, those are cool. There are northern lights out right now. Oh, what? Yeah. So those are very old stamps. Oh, this is like all stamps. Oh, this must be that collection. Oh wow. <laughs> Northern lights in the south. That we're that far north that they're in the south. These are one cent stamps. So a whole pane of them. You almost send an entire envelope with the yeah. ten, ten cent, uh, five cent, two cent, three cent. Seventeen cents. What so an there's... odd amount. So there's... Okay, I can super, super faintly see a couple, but they more look like clouds. Oh, you're talking about Northern Lights. I thought you were yeah, talking no. about the stamps, and I was going to bring them up closer for you. <laughs> so, so there's a whole, there's a whole uh, raft of these in this collection. So I think I did really well on that set. So this is a 19, Anyways, 1938 stamp book. Okay. Okay. So that's good. Fine. Stamp book from 1938. I like the cover on that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very cool. Super cool. So it's it's got stamps from different countries put in here. It's not full of stamps. There's probably 50 or 60, I think. So that wasn't that wasn't a great deal that one. But it's a cool album. And then there's another stamp album. Oh look. Canadian tiger stamps. Who knew? There you go. I certainly didn't. What year? No, it's not far down enough. So more more stamps. Enough. Oh no, this is just not, the history. Not very many stamps in this book, this album. It came in a stamp album. Most of the pages are empty. Oh, what? Bank of Bologna, $3 bills. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a bonus. <laughs> Gee, I didn't, I didn't know we were going to get bologna bills. But, I, I want in my inheritance. Many, uh, many blank pages without stamps. Oh, so these are, these are mocking Mulrooney. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's mocking Mulrooney. So, that's pretty clever though. So like you pay three dollars for a fake, so it was like, I guess, funding, funding like the campaign against him. I don't know what they were. Uh, we'd have to do some investigating. Did you guess. actually pay $3 for it? Uh, probably. Like, we had a friend. Um, got... One of our friends has another friend. 
made it's some like propaganda against oh, the yeah, okay. um, the government for something or other. There's a whole bunch of oh, that's cool. bought it right up so that they can send in these letters to the government to be like, yo. So there's a pain of 17 cent stamps. And another pain underneath the 17 cent stamps. <coughs> cool beans. Okay, there's something heavy at the bottom of this box. And it's not the peanuts. Really heavy. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Does it weigh more or less than a small child? Uh, this one weighs less. So it's it's a pencil holder with a dollar bill in it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. I guess that's not defacing money, hey? Is the money like literally facing? <clears throat> And this is a centennial nickel with the rabbit on the back, encased in, okay. it's a paperweight. Oh, right. Back when people are in the resin thing. Yeah, yeah. which everybody's in again. It's back. It's back. And this is a Pope John the Paul, Pope John Paul the second, I think. Pope John the Paul? That's funny. <laughs> Once again in resin. Mm -hmm. oh. I wonder what I paid for that. Maybe I don't want to know what I paid for that. There's something for you to open. This is like So like that uh, poodle brooch would be a good one to put on there. Oh, wow, those are well protected. Pyrex dishes. <laughs> These are like old school. And? You know what? These are not Pyrex though. They're glass bank. This one says Pyrex. Oh, the, the pie plate is Pyrex. Oh, this is one of those little shallow guys too. They don't make those things right now. Oh, yeah. This is the best part. So this, these are silver... Silver plated. Plated serving dishes for the Pyrex. Pyrex. Yeah. I think this is on solid silver. Like it's heavy. Show them on there too. Yeah, we're like moving up in the world <laughs> when we have our parties, if and when we can ever have them again. If you want to borrow them for dinner, dinner party Wednesdays, let me know. Oh wow, that's super heavy. That is like so super heavy. So then these came as well. This is this is a candle holder. And then another small serving dish. 
and a uh, another holder. Pyrex holder. Okay. That all came as one lot. I think it was twenty dollars for the whole lot. That was super cheap. See, look, you can put the tie plate in this one, and it looks really cool. <laughs> this is for um, snaps, snap plier, oh, snap plier. Yeah. Yeah, so, cool. Grant bought a whole um, assortment. assortment of old tools. I guess that's one way to get tools. Well, these look like they'd be good for Glenn. <laughs> they're ginormous. They're like pipe no, wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn drives a very big semi truck. I'm saying that for YouTube. I think that's it. Should I should I tell them the drama? Would you like me to tell it? No, I can tell it. Okay. Uh, his, uh, one of the cool. connected to his battery line. Shorted. Arced against the fuel tank. And started a fire under the truck. Yep. He put out the first fire that was under the hood and then realized there was a second fire. He saw the fuel tank, put that one out. And I said, I'm truck now. Yeah, he, he drops the fuel tank and fixed it and put it back in. And now he's on his way home. Is that okay. everything? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's everything. How much did we pay for the tools? $25 for all those tools. Very cool, usable <laughs> tools. Yeah. Good deal. Waste money. <laughs> If you use tools, it was worth it. We have like a talk for you. Last place you have tools. Where is? Estate sales and stuff? Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think this was part of an estate, but not, I, that wasn't from Madame Rax. It was somebody else's estate sale. So. Right. Did you buy any hats? No, none of them were for sale. All the hats were taken by another guy who bought all the clothes. Clothes and hats and bags. Uh, I only saw the intro video, so I didn't hear like what actually happened with everything. There's actually another sale coming up on the 23rd or something of March, because um, Alex went back to the shop and found two more bins of jewelry. Another 900 plus um, lots of stuff to be sold. So. In his in his shop. Yeah, like he is. Inadvertently put them somewhere to save them. It's so small though. Where does he put these things? I don't know. But he was cleaning up and found these two bins of jewelry and stuff. Still, that he forgot so. about because he had so many others. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, so, there's the unboxing of that box. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Don't <laughs> like and subscribe. Like yeah. and subscribe. Thank you very much. Hit that, hit that notification button. Ring yes. The bell. <laughs> Ring, Ring the bell. bell. And thanks for joining the family for the <laughs> unboxing. <laughs>